Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, I'm on location. Actually, I'm just behind the, the green screen. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. Um, but I'm gonna sit here today and uh, talk to you like I used to talk to you um, about all kinds of things uh, here in my office. Uh, you guys remember, uh, if you guys have been watching me for long enough, I used to sit here on a regular basis or just stand up and record some sort of video talking about whatever was on my mind. And, uh, you know, I haven't done that in kind of like a long time. So, you know, we're here um, to get the ball rolling and start doing these again. I got like a bit of a setup, so let's start working on it. I mean, uh, the hardest part is actually the fact that I have to turn off all the fans and I got to be out here in a uh, 100 degree heat in the middle of Mexico, um, but that's the hardest part. But hey, you know, small sacrifices, you know, for the video creation that I gotta make. Anyways, all right, back, enough about me, let's get to it. So guys, in today's episode, I have like a bunch of notes of a bunch of things, honestly, that I've, I've been kind of writing down for like the longest time, thinking, oh, when I get back to start making these episodes or these videos again, I'm gonna start talking about them. Um, but again, I really haven't just gotten to come make these again because I've just been very busy doing a bunch of things and, uh, you know, just, you know, a lot of a lot of things on my mind. Uh, so, you know, another thing is uh, the fact that, you know, what I used to do is do the walking and the talking, but I haven't been able to do that because, again, I've been having some knee problems. So, again, I'm doing less of that. So I got to keep making videos. So I decided to finally set up this whole green screen stuff here so I can start making episodes. And I think that, you know, I can start doing these on a more regular basis uh, for all channels, you know, no matter what my state of my knee is or, or whatever. So, um, by the way, yes, I'm fine. You know, I'm gonna be all right. I just gotta get it worked on, you know, that's all. And you guys will be, you know, here throughout the whole process, especially if you follow me on the other channel, as you guys already know, from, you know, me telling you a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, I live in Mexico right now. And, um, you know, uh, yeah, out here, things like that are a lot more accessible. Let's say I got to get knee surgery. It's literally under a thousand dollars, $500, you know, depends on the situation, Probably, but let's just say a thousand dollars, give or take, as opposed to, you know, God knows how much it is in the USA and other places. So, you know, in today's episode, we're just going to be talking about random things like that. I mean, basically what I really wanted to title this, I don't know what I'm going to title this until later on once I record it, but I want, I just want to talk about the fact that, you know, when is the right time to get out or, you know, you, that we're already, we are, all, we are already past that. It's already, you know, you guys should already be out. You guys should already be having your plan in place. All these things we've already talked about in the, in, in previous episodes, but you know, the reality is, is that right now what we're going to be talking about is uh, other factors, you know, because, you know, it seems that no matter where you go in the world right now, there's only a few places out there, a handful of places that are really, you know, of any good choice, I guess, you know, and even then, you know, they're, they're still iffy. And so, you know, even Mexico included, you know, for a lot of reasons, you know, I love it out here and everything's great. But, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, no country is safe at the moment. You know, I mean, from what's going to happen, you feel me, what's going to happen uh, in the totality of uh, these things. And so, you know, the reality is it's not about um, escaping, you know, and uh, going to Mars with Elon Musk or going to, you know, um, Antarctica or the North Pole or, you know, whatever. Um, or, or again, or XYZ country in the middle of nowhere, because, you know, there's a ton of countries out there. They're not going to feel anything that's coming, you know, whether it's in Eastern Europe or deep in Latin America or uh, Africa, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there are places, you know, um, but they come with at a cost, you know, meaning do you want to live there? Bruh. <laughs> so, as always like a major thing, you know? Um, so, you know, the reality is it's, it's more about knowing these things that are going to happen. It's not going to be the end of humanity. Um, it's not going to be the end of the world. It's just going to be a major, major change in, in how we see and perceive things going forward, just like we've had major changes like every hundred years, give or take. And so this is no different. And so the thing is that depending on what country you're in, it's just going to be depending on, you know, what you should be worried about. And it's as simple as that. I mean, if you're in the United States of America, you have a lot of things to worry about. If you're in Europe, you have a lot of things to worry about. In fact, you know, a lot of these countries that are the the legacy brand countries, you know, the countries that everyone wants to be in, they're the ones that are more in trouble. 
um, the people there are the more in trouble. And um, again, of course, you know, China and uh, other countries, you know, that ilk are not, you know, um, you know, they're included as well. You know, these are all countries that, you know, they're going through their, their situation. But like I said, you know, basically no matter what country you're in, you know, Mexico, for example, where I'm at, um, again, you pick your country. You know, I got friends living in the Ukraine. I got people living in, you know, in a lot of countries that are pretty chill. But it doesn't matter what country you're in. Every country is going to be feeling some sort of effect from everything that's coming. You feel me? And if you're not feeling it already, you're going to feel it in the future. And so what are you going to do about it? So, you know, the thing is, you know, this is all going to be developing within the next decade. You know, give or take. I've talked about this many times in my previous episodes. I've talked about the roaring 2020s. You know, um, remember in, during the 1920s, which was the roaring 20s, the original ones, <laughs> um, there was a lot of turmoil and a lot of things going on around the world. You know, there was a lot of things that, you know, um, going on besides the, the crash. You know what I mean? The, the stock market crash that happened in the U.S. You know, many things were going on around the world. And uh, and they were going on around the world before the stock market crash. You know, remember World War One happened in the early 1900s. Even before that, you know, we had, uh, you know, a, a lot of wars, you know, that the U.S. got involved in, you know, believe it or not. And we started trying to build our empire, you know, whether it was the Spanish-American War or us trying to, you know, um, liberate places like Cuba and, and trying to, you know, start, you know, um, colonizing and becoming an empire um, for the first time after being a country that was anti-empire and so on and so forth. But that's another situ that's another conversation there. But the reality is, is that, you know, all these things are cycles. You know, right now, you know, we are at a point in the war and not just in U.S. history, but in world history in which, you know, a lot of major change is coming. Um, you can see it right away, you know, whether it's things like, uh, you know, um, I'm trying to think of a, like um, the disease, I mean, whether it's something like that um, or whether it's um, the economic change that's coming, you know, there's a lot of things that are coming our way and uh, are already affecting you in one way or the other. And what are you doing about it? You know, um, the thing is, it's like, I know I keep asking that question. It's like, what are you doing about it? What are this? But again, if you've listened to me, and pre, pre, sorry, my back is like killing me here from doing, from lifting so much of this uh, bullshit on my back. Anyways, but I digress. <laughs> Bruh. Um, you know, the reality is, it's like if, if uh, you would have listened to me or other YouTubers out there or other people out there saying the same old shit, you know what I mean, that we've been preaching for a long time. Um, if you would have listened, you're okay, and you're probably not even watching this video. For a lot of people out there that still don't know what to do, um, you need to start figuring it out real quick. And the thing is, you know, it starts with, you know, um, understanding your situation and how you can get out of that situation and understanding that it's not going to be easy and there's going to take a lot of work, a lot of risk, a lot of everything. But, you know, what I tell people is, you know, what are you willing to do? You know, are you, I mean, what are you willing to risk? You know, meaning, um, are you willing to risk living under your conditions for for much further for much longer or are you willing to risk you know living somewhere else living somewhere else and starting over sorry about those uh the dogs out there you know what I mean you can't get the can't stop those no matter what no matter how what fancy green screen i got huh i got them neighbors over there making a making a ruckus but at the end of the day guys you know, the reality is, is that, you know, right now, you know, we're going through a major change, you know, um, everything from the Great Reset that we already know is happening. Um, the whole thing with um, the, 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 the disease in which right now, like, again, you're reading all kinds of articles from where, you know, people that are getting the shot, you know, what I mean, they are now you know, unfortunately not able to even, you know, get on a plane or fly and they're starting to get sick and starting to get whatever. I don't want to be spreading anything. This is just news is out there. Um, but just the same, you know, as like right now, if you don't get it, um, then you're not allowed to, you know, go and, and access certain things. You know, you need your special, um, you know, uh, what is it? Like your special um, virus pass or whatever, you know, in order to get places and do things. So, you know, the thing is, it's like, on one end, you know, they're forcing you to get the pass to do things and and then go certain places. And then on the other hand, once you do, you know, go through that and get what you're needed in order to get the pass. Um, now you're not able to do certain things because 
your health risk and, and all these other things. So there's a lot of a lot of crazy things going on. Um, the best thing I can keep telling you is that, you know, right now, in a sense, you know, what I've been saying for a long time is that, you know, we are going through the zombie apocalypse. And sure, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, there's still things that you can do in order to better your situation. Again, you know, if you're in a really bad, you know, living situation, I would advise you to, you know, make that a better situation if you can. But the reality is the best advice I can give more than anything else is to stay put, you know, because right now as we're going through this virus, um, it's just going to get worse and worse um, before it gets any better. And again, um, it's not necessarily about the virus, but it's all these other things going on around the virus, you know, meaning that they are doing everything humanly possible to not have people traveling. You know, I mean, whether it's making travel more difficult uh, or whether it's things like, um, you know, again, the whole thing with, um, you know, get your shot, don't get your shot, you know, get your papers, don't get your papers. Now you're a liability before you weren't a liability. Um, get it or you're going to be one uh, liability. You know, things like can go on and on. You know, what I mean, many things like that. So, you know, the, right now we are in the decline of the, the American empire. We are in the decline of the U.S. empire, but it doesn't mean that it's the end again you know as i was talking to a friend of mine earlier about you know just random things and we we're just talking about these things you know because whatever um we you know i i i, I kind of came to a realization that at the end of the day you know no matter what the hell happens man really no matter what the hell happens the usa is going to remain number one and remain on top it's just you know there are too many factors that are in a sense not going to allow for any other country to take over um, and then, you know, what's going to happen though, meaning that right now we are in the decline of the American empire. And if we know that the next empire is probably going to be the American empire again, the U S empire. So what's going to happen? Well, again, we got to go through a great reset in which we're just resetting the system that we're in right now, but it doesn't mean that we're going to move away from it. We're just resetting it. Think about that. You know what I mean? So we're not rebuilding it. We're not, uh, it's a new one. It's not a recreation of it. It's not anything like that. What we're actually doing is that we're resetting. It's just hitting the reset button. So anyone out there that's played a video game, you know, again, if you're playing Mario Brothers and you hit the reset button, it's just going to reset the game. That's it. Reset what you're doing there. That's it. Not, not play a new game. And so that's what I think, you know, that their plan is, you know, the, the people in power, you know, whoever it is, by the way, you know, everyone out there is like has a, 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 a theory as to who it could be, you know, um, you know, the bank. I mean, we know it's the bankers, but who are these bankers? You know, what I mean, you know, are they um, a religious sect out there? You know, what I mean, uh, that, uh, that that likes to celebrate Hanukkah, you know, <laughs> they're not sent them, by the way. <laughs> Bruh. But another religious sect, you know, um, yeah, that, that is uh, similar to that religious sect, you know, uh, coming out of there, you know, the Mount Zion. Anyways, uh, all that shit, you know what I'm saying, I'm the Zionists out there. Some people say it's them. Some people say it's a lizard people. Some people say it's aliens. Some people say it's, um, you know, the straight up just bankers, you know what I mean? Non-Zionist or whatever, Illuminati. Um, there's just many, 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 you know, um, people, you know, and things out there, you know what I mean? Like, again, you know, um, that could be in control. And, but the reality is, is that, you know, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's not any one of these uh, weird groups or sects, you know. Um, I think that, honestly, it's, you know, when it comes down to it, it's just humans. It's just other humans doing human shit to other humans. And that's it. You know I mean, it's just, you know, we, we sometimes, you know, we like to over explain ourselves or we like to take it to the next level. And by the way, um, I'm sure some of you guys have already caught it, but I try to keep, you know, bouncing around certain words to make sure that the algorithm out there doesn't really trigger too hard. Um, even though I already know it's triggered as hell. But anyways, <laughs> how dare you? The point I'm making is that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, um, there's going to be a lot of change coming, but it's not what we think it's going to be. I think that at the end, uh, you know, we're going to have, um, you know, sure, the dollar is going to fall, but it's just going to be replaced by another dollar. And it's probably going to be a digital dollar, you know, and I can go on and on. And, um, you know, it's not going to be Bitcoin. And it's not going to be any one of these cryptocurrencies. No, these cryptocurrencies and that whole thing is just to get people primed and ready so that when the U.S. and all these other countries out there roll out their cryptocurrency, um, you know, people are already kind of used to it. Also, they're waiting for other countries and everybody basically to, you know, just get on board at the same time. 
and they want to eliminate cash and all these other things. And, you know, right now, um, you know, the whole virus thing is uh, coming to an end, depending on what country you're in, depending on how it's coming to an end, but it's coming to an end. But it doesn't mean that a lot of these measures that have been put in place already, you know, whether it's been um, the, 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 what is it, the money printing and the universal basic income and the lockdowns and, and more restrictions and more uh, freedoms being taken away and more totalitarianism and, and all this other shit, you know what I mean? Um, all this stuff is not coming to an end. They're just now using a different um, vehicle. Um, instead of uh, the virus, um, for a reason to do all these things. Now it's going to be um, the climate change, and that's going to be the next thing, okay? And, and again, you know, you, you, it's not that you heard it here first. I'm sure you've heard it in other places. Um, and if you haven't, then maybe, I guess you, you did hear it here first. But yeah, you know, this is nothing new. They have been talking about this. Again, all of these things, and I'm talking about this on today's program, you know, are things that, you know, um, these people that are in power have openly talked about many, many, many times over and over again. Um, again, you know, there's so many people out there that are like, oh, the Great Reset is is a uh, is a fucking uh, what you call it? <laughs> is a conspiracy theory. I'm like, bro, you know, are you, are you kidding me right now? You know what I mean? Like, uh, but anyways, I digress. You know, the point I'm making is that uh, you know all this is very real. You know, all these uh, people in power, um, they're not hiding it. Most of them have a YouTube channel or some sort of avenue in which they're trying to you know tell you guys about it. And uh, the way they look at it, you know, the people that are in power, whoever they are, um, the people that are in power, um, the way they look at it is that when everything happens and you fail to prepare for whatever happens, you know, that's your fault and your problem. You know, we, you know, again, the people in power, whoever they are, not me, not me you know, but the people in power, they have been telling you, okay, for the longest time, what's going to happen. Uh, there, it's not a conspiracy theory. It's 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 the truth. You know they are telling you. Um, they you know straight up all the time. Whether it's the Great Reset or Agenda Twenty One or whatever the whatever whatever it is. Um, they they they're straight up telling you. Um, everything that they say they're gonna. Everything they say to you that means that they're gonna do. And um, whether they do it right away or they take some a decade or you know, just a few years, they, they do it. And so this is nothing new. Everything that they're doing now, they've been telling us they're going to do everything that's going to happen going forward. Um, we already know what's going to happen because they, they're telling us not everything, but pretty, you know, you can pretty make a pretty really good, ex you know, estimation as to where we're going with all this. You know what I mean? If you um, just listen, <laughs> read a book, you know, the books that they're giving you, you know, the same books that they're printing and uh, giving you to read. Um, so if you read uh, or you, you know, again, watch our YouTube channel for the lazy ones out there like myself or other things, you know, um, all the information is out there. They're, they're literally telling you what's going to happen and how it's going to happen. And, uh, you know, everything from the, 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 the virus pass, everything from the vaccine, um, everything again, you know, the whole meme, the whole joke about Alex Jones, you know what I mean? Like being right, you know, again, you know, um, he's been right on just about everything, um, not everything. Not everything, but he's been right on many things, not just him, but many individuals out there. Um, and I can go on and on. I can go on and on. And so, you know, the reason that, you know, they're going to be able to, you know, fully take control going forward is because, well, you, the people, um, are letting them take over. And they're telling you what they're doing and you're doing it. I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of countries and a bunch of places around the world in which they're not taking it and they are fighting back and yada, yada, yada. And there are places around the world in which, you know, a lot of this stuff is not going to really affect you per se in the long run, you know, in the bigger picture. Um, but, you know, it, it's affecting everybody one way or the other. And what are you going to do about it? I mean, what are you, how are you going to prepare um, and things like that? Because, I, I mean, me and Christian are doing the same thing. You know, we're you know, looking at our surroundings and seeing what's going on and we're keeping an eye on everything and we're preparing and we're doing everything humanly possible to make sure that we are in the best position possible. I mean, I already know for a fact that I'm in a way better position now than I was when I was in the U.S. I'm, you know, living out in Mexico is way better. Um, and, but I'm, again, keeping my eyes um, all over the map and seeing what else is out there. 
um, and, and and using my resources that I have gained, you know, just from you know a lot of the investments that I've made, uh, you know, mainly in myself, um, in order to go out there and explore, while the rest of the world has no choice but to stay, you know, home and locked up, and they have no choice, you know, they got they can't really do anything. So, um, you know, and then there's a lot of you guys that have, um, you know, what is it? Um, created or earned your freedom um you know um like i have and uh, a lot of you guys that haven't but it doesn't mean that it's too late i'm not gonna lie it is for some of you guys but not for everybody and um yeah you know what i mean now's the time to act and now's the time to start figuring this out i mean you know the internet is a big wide open place um you know we're, we're now entering the matrix internet age for reals you know we've been in the internet age for a while all right, digital age, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, we're in, we're in the middle of the third industrial revolution. As much as these people in power, you know, the Great Reset and all this other crap, they're trying to push down your throat the fourth industrial revolution. The reality is, is that we are in the middle of the third industrial revolution, okay? This is still the third industrial revolution, and we're still we're kicking in full speed. And, and, uh, and don't, don't let them kid you, you know what I mean? Again, don't be listening to them. They've been lying to you about everything. Everything around you is a lie. Everything is fake. I can go on and on. So with that being said, and you already know this, then don't be listening to them and know what's really going on and then and, and understand your history you got so you got to educate yourself first and foremost if you don't educate yourself you're you're lost um so with that with, with all that um on the table um you know right now you know we are in the middle of the third industrial revolution and right now we're going to be building you know the building blocks for the future which will eventually be the fourth you know come you know come the fourth industrial revolution but that's way down the line that's going to be our kids living that you know right now we're living the fourth industrial, I mean the third, okay, right now we're in the third industrial revolution, which is, you know, the internet age, and we're building the infrastructure to get us to the space age, or whatever age, whatever age is next, okay, you know, we're now, we're in the digital age, okay, and before that we were, again, in the, remember, I don't know what the other ages were called, but, you know, the other two industrial revolutions that happened before this, okay, um, in the, you know, 1800s, and then, you know, from the late 1800s to the, you know, 1900s, all the way up until recently, which in which we went into the third industrial revolution, um, which was the late 80s, 90s, into now, or 70s, 80s, 90s, computers, whatever, um, now going forward, and uh, we're still in the computer age at the beginning of all that, we're still in the beginning of everything. How can you say that we're going into the fourth industrial revolution, which would already have a, a very set technological infrastructure when we're still debating about what cryptocurrency we're going to have and we're debating about you know um data and we're debating all these other technical stuff you know what i mean i'm in the tech world and trust me we're still in the infancy okay you know <laughs> at least when it comes to you know the future we're we're going into so <clears throat> that's the thing you know right now all of you guys, you know, should be working on uh, building and creating your freedom, you know, for the better. You know, whether it's educating yourself, um, you know, uh, building something, you know, whether it's a business, um, something. It doesn't matter. Just it's just again, go out there and do something. Um, it's 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 you know, it, it's easier for you to go out there and build something and do something when you have already, you know, uh, put yourself in a better position. Like for example, me and others that live abroad where you live in a place that is treating you best you know what i mean i i am an american and i live abroad i i have my you know my american you know uh citizenship i got my american uh you know um, i do my american taxes i have my american address you know i still in a sense live in the u.s if you're an american citizen you can never get rid of your u.s citizenship but just because you know um I'm an American. It doesn't mean that I cannot, you know, um, be out here um, living the, my best life. It doesn't matter where you're from. You could be doing this. But as an American, um, sometimes and, and as European, for example, or anyone that comes from a first world country, it's a lot more difficult sometimes to make these leaps of faith, you know. Um, but, you know, regardless, you know, as an American, you know, I still, you know, again, you know, um, do everything you know, from abroad and I live abroad. And in fact, you know, right now with this president, which as a time of me recording this, it's uh, 
President Biden, um, because of him being president, it's actually more beneficial for me as an American to live abroad. You know, I get all kinds of benefits and breaks and all kinds of things, you know, um, living abroad, you know, as an American citizen. And so, you know, for me, it's, it's even more incentive to stay abroad, you know, and I, 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 I live out here very proudly. I go where I'm treated best at this moment. It's Mexico, but it doesn't mean that it can't be other places. I really do think I'm going to be in Mexico for a long time because I love it out here. Um, but I'm also, again, like I keep telling you guys, looking abroad and looking at other countries, uh, you know, now with this whole crisis that we were enduring, um, there's many countries that are closing up and more and other countries that are opening up. And I'm, you know, exploring the ones that are opening up. And look, I don't want to say too much here because I know that, you know, I want to leave you guys a little bit of a cliffhanger. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to be taking you with me no matter where the hell I go um, on every single one of my adventures. And uh, yeah. You know, this is no different, you know, so as we go exploring other countries and other places and, and stuff like that and, and, and exploring other options, you know, for you as an expat to, to, you know, again, to go where you're treated best, um, you know, you'll come along for the ride. You know, and speaking of which, you know, the reason I keep saying that is because you know, if there's a guy out there named Andrew, um, the nomad capitalist, which a lot of you guys, I'm sure, um, listen to and watch on a regular basis. And that guy, you know, he's, he's a, an inspiration to a lot of us out here um, doing what we do. And um, he is, you know, making videos and uh, not just making videos, sorry. He is, his business is catering to, again, seven, eight figure, you know, big figure, big players, big dogs out there, big, uh, you know, big fish. Um, but by being, by, but, sorry, by him making the videos that he makes, um, he has, um, you know, basically opened up, you know, um, his information to everyone out there that is willing to listen. And um, what, I, I, what I've been doing for a few years now is helping individuals out there with the same kind of uh, information and, uh, and all that good stuff. And in fact, I have a similar type business and a similar type arrangement um, as he does. But my, you know, clients are more in the lower figures. And I mean, um, he deals with the bigger fish. I deal with the small fry. Again, I came out here with just a backpack, you know, and a few bucks. And I cater to people like that and middle class and basically everyone in between that you know under 10 million in what net worth <laughs> Bruh. you know but it's just basically helping them you know um by having conversations like this talking about the real things that happen again if you want more information check out my other channel um my travel channel which i talk more about these things in depth um on this channel i talk about the things i'm talking about now and i'm going to be talking more about these on a regular basis this is the first of many episodes like this but you know at the end of the day you know, um, just to bring full circle this episode, um, I think I've been talking long enough. I think we, you know, doing a pretty good uh, first run here. Um, but at the end of the day, guys, it's um, the cost of freedom. You know what I mean? Um, for some of you guys, you know, you guys are totally fine where you're at. You know what I mean? Um, but for some of you guys, you know, the, the cost of freedom has already become too great. And um, look, I'm not going to lie. I, like one of the main reasons I'm making this episode is because I was watching another YouTuber out there, um, shout out to SPK, you know, um, he's out there, you know, doing his traveling and living his life, but yeah, I saw a video that he posted, I don't know when he posted this, but it just came up in my thing, and it was talking about the fact that, you know, if you owe child support, you your passport is revoked, first of all, you cannot apply for a passport or get one, but if you owe more than 2,500 bucks in child support, your your passport will be revoked. And, you know, it's not even about that situation. I don't want to get into that because he was talking about, you know, other things that I'm probably going to be talking about in an episode myself, talking about dating and women and, and life as a man, you know, abroad, um, the benefits of that. Um, but the reality is, is that, you know, um, it, it just brought something to mind that is still like, wow, you know what I mean? How much, how many freedoms we've lost and how people in the U.S. especially have no idea um, but you know what? This is actually right now all over the world. Uh, again, first world countries, you know, U.S., Canada, Europe, Australia, and things like that, you know, where they've realized um, real quick, you know, with the quickness, you know, um, life has punched them in the face and they realize, oh, shit, we have no freedom. We got no rights. Oh, wow. We got absolutely 
nothing. And um, this is another thing because most people like don't won't even know about that. You know what I mean? That whole thing about the passport, child support, whatever, until it's too late. You know where they're you know already. Hey, I'm gonna move abroad. I'm gonna do my own thing, and they're probably at the airport, and they're hey. We gotta stop you. You can't fly out or you can't cross the border because you have no passport because you owe two thousand five hundred bucks in child support. Bruh. Yeah. Anyways, and then just many reasons. I mean, the Canadians can't leave now because of the virus. You know, again, if you're a Canadian out there, you know. Shout out to you. You leave a comment down below if you're anyone that's uh, struggled with any of these things. But you know, it's only gonna be more and more difficult that as each day goes. Um, for you to escape, for you to leave wherever you're at. Again, you know, uh, when this guy was talking about building the wall, you know, when Trump was talking about building the wall, um, again, by the way, that wall has been being built by other presidents and it's continuing to be built as we talk, we, we go forward right now. Um, but the reality is, is that, you know, with that whole thing about the wall, you know, like I told you way back then, that wall is not to stop immigration. It's to stop you as an American from getting out. It's to stop stop you from escaping that's simple as that it's for you not for the immigrants okay so and sure enough you know what i mean we're seeing it more and more every day a lot of these uh things that are stopping you at the border as you will find out real shortly um are not going to be a physical wall border you know what i mean because the only ones going through the physical wall border with a coyote or anything like that would be somebody that owes child support and their passport got revoked and they still want to escape but for the most part, um, you know, unless you fit one of those categories in which you cannot get a passport or you cannot escape from where you're from, just talking to a few of you guys out there, you know who you, you know who I'm talking about, and we talk. Um, yeah, you know what I mean. The reality is, is it's just going to get harder and harder. You know, you eventually might not be able to leave your country because you owe too many parking tickets or you didn't get the proper, um, you know, uh, shot, you know, or whatever. You know what I mean? Your your proper paperwork, your proper medical with this, your proper that. So it's only going to get worse and worse and worse. And so, guys, you know, um, with that being said, um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know it was a little bit all over the place, and I don't know what I'm titling titling this. You know, I'm sure. By this point in the video, you guys not only read the title, but forgot the title yourself. And uh, you, you probably enjoyed the video because, you know, still 30 minutes in. So, but that's it. I want to cut it. I want to, I don't want to get too long on this one. I just wanted to just get back into the the rhythm of things, you know what I'm saying? And start uh, talking to you guys again on a regular basis about all these things that are on my mind. Besides doing the live streams, I want to do more things like this. So, guys, if you like this kind of content and you want me to do more, leave a like. Please leave a like. That helps a lot. Leave a comment down below. Um, check out my other channel. Check out my website for more information. Uh, check out all the other videos that I've been making and talking about all these topics already for a long time. And I can go on and on. So please just check out all the links below. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.